let's get to this uh, post by MJ Mondehar. Oh, ito po sa palayan. So, ito, yung post ng Abante tonight. Alright. Itong post ng Abante tonight, dito tayo sa issue ngayon ni ni um, Amy Marcos. Kung nasang side ba talaga siya. Alright. Kasi marami nagtataka, nagtatanong, na kapatid mo yan, eh, ba't mo binaba natin yan? Ba't mo binaba natin si, si Martin Romualdez? Eh, siya yung pinaka-loyal na bataan ni ni Marcos na kapatid mo na presidente eh, gusto nga nilang patalskin di ba uh, hindi mo na kailangan ipa, ipa explain o pa interpret sa kung sino mang political expert yung mga statements sa mga Duterte at mga kapanalit niya di ba they want to oust Marcos period di ba kung hindi mo na kaya bubuo na yun lang yung ganun lang simple so we wrote this story um earlier today yung entitled ng New story natin, nakakaloka, Senator Ari Marcos responds to drug addict allegations against brother calls Romaldes Bastos. So, tinawag niyang Bastos sa isang tweet niya, yung first cousin niyang si Martin, sinabi niya na um, kapag inugali mo ang ugali mo, ugali mo, umiiyak ka, ikaw ang unang ng Bastos. Yun yung kanyang tweet. Ito yung Twitter account niya na verified. Tweet niya yan against kay Martin Romaldes sa first cousin niya. So, bakit ganun? Kasi nga, Um, let's get to our YouTube account. All right, this is our YouTube YouTube uh, page. Kasi nga si uh, itong si uh, Ani Marcos, a eh, political creature siya. All right, hindi siya nakarating sa sa aljuna yun kung naging bobo siya. So hindi man siya nakapag-aral ng maigi sa academic academia, pero magaling siya sa politics. And our humble opinion is that she's expertly employing the Queen Gambit move in chess. Diba? So, sa mga chess aficionados, alam nila yung term na to, yung Queen Gambit, or Queen's Gambit na, na Netflix series. So, uh, we stated here na this Queen Gambit, or Queen's Gambit in politics, refers to a strategic move or maneuver, often calculated and sometimes unpredictable, made by political figure to gain advantage or control in a given situation. It draws an analogy to the chess opening called the Queen's Gambit, or Queen Gambit, Queen's Gambit, where a player sacrifices a pawn with the hope of achieving a better position later in the game. In politics, it implies a calculated risk or tactic with potential long-term gains. So, ang important din yung, yung potential long-term sa opening move mo sa politika and ito yung move na basa namin na ginagawa ni ni uh, uh, Amy Marcos alright na sinasakrifice yung kanya pinsan o siguro yung sarili niya sino ba yung pawn dito si si Tambalos Luz ba si Martin Romales o yung sarili niya kasi maraming nagagalit sa kanya rin eh, di ba she's sacrificing probably herself or Tambalos Luz for long term political game ano yung long term political game yung survival ng Marcos presidency today alright She wants to get into the inner cir circle of the Duterte uh, powerhouse. Yun yung kanyang, yung kanyang move. And that is what, you know, I don't know, uh, VP Sara Duterte is probably trying to do. Pero di siya makapasok kasi nga. Uh, we predict that in the coming few weeks, siguro magre-resign siya, mapipilitan siya mag-resign as secretary ng, you know, Department of Education. Kasi nga, medyo ayaw na sa kanya ni... Sinusuwitan na siya ni, ni uh, First Lady, you know, First Lady uh, uh, Lisa Marcus. Okay, so yun lang yun. Yun yung move niya. So, huwag kayang mag yung mga, kasi nabasa ko yung mga responses sa, sa Twitter na isa po akong taga-suporta, loyalist, blah, 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 pero hindi ko maatim na ginagawa mo sa kapatid. Huwag kayang mag-alala that, you know, lumaki silang Marcos. They were trained that way since birth. Blood is thicker than water. All right. So, let's listen to this or watch this interview na kasi nga we wrote story, di ba? Na kung saan sinabi niya nakakaloka daw yung yung pangyayari. So, uh, dito mo makita na hindi medyo medyo dubious yung reaction, yung sincerity ni ni uh, Amy Marcos. So, so ito 'yun, kanyang interview. Anong feeling nyo noon, nung pinipinapanata niya yung kapatid ko? Wala nagdaan ng nakakaloka. Yun na masasabi ko na nagdaan ng nakakaloka. Ang nga... Uh, diba? 
Yung kanyang reaction, hindi. Parang, she's acting. She's trying to to look cool na hindi siya naapektuhan. When, makikita mo sa kanyang, kung na, nasasaktan talaga siya, di ba? She's, I mean, magaling siyang actress kung gano'n. Ang uh, lumapit sa akin ay uh, si Mayor uh, Pastel Filipino. Sorry na lang, sorry. Naintindihan mo ako. Kasi, syempre, sobrang uh, emosyonal siya dahil na uh, isipin mo naman eh, ipungtulong yung tatay mo at uh, yung ate mo. Talaga namang uh, magka-re-revolusyon uh, yung, uh, yung uh, kuhaan damdami. Maraming <laughs> 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 Hindi ko akalain na ano sasabihin yun eh. Ni I mean, what the heck? So, alam, di ba parang, actually, di ba nasabi yun ni, ni Aini? Kasi, kumbaga, sarcastic yung dating, di ba? Kasi nga ba naman, ikukulong yung dating mo <laughs> at kapatid mo. So, sa kanyang isip talaga, I mean, kung sincere man yun, or na cut of guard lang siya at wala siyang masugot, hindi niya mahigilap yung tamang isasagot niya sa media, yung answer yung nakakatawa, nakakatawa na it's either na sincere ka na, na sa sarili mo, ay, takot na takot ang mga Duterte na ipakulong ang kanyang, papakulong sila, lalo na si, si Digong at si Sarah, di ba? Kasi na, nandun sila sa listahan ng ICC who were being, being investigated. Di ba? Nabalita na yan at na-confirm yan ng Vera Files at si uh, former Senator Trillanes. Di ba? So, it's out of fear pala. Kung tama yung reading ni, uh, ni uh, Amy, out of fear kung bakit takot na takot sila na, na talaga ang mga ang mga Duterte at itong sagot niyang to dito mo makikita na si Ate Ivy Marcos ay you know ay acting lang lahat alright we know whose whose side you know she's on she's on the side of her brother yun lang yan ganun ko simple itong interview niyan to it, it revealing kumbaga revealing ang dami mong makikita yung emotion niya paano niya sinagot yung pagsagot niya hindi yun yung tamang sagot siguro very caught of guard siya hindi nga niya alam kung nakakalo kayo lang sinabi niya di ba <laughs> which is which is ang ganda ng political na drama na to yun lang masasabi ko sa so, ang dami ko nang sinabi pero uh, alam natin lahat na the authorities are afraid of the ICC and they really believe probably that they are gonna get arrested and jailed. Kasi nga, kasi tinanong ko to sa previous vlog ko, di ba? Na, yung ball nasa side ng Marcos eh. Kasi, um, I actually liken it to what ha- what's happening in the US today. Although I'm pro-Trump, di ba yung mga Democrats, they're using lawfare, uh, using the courts to remove Trump from the ballots. Alright? To, to stop him from running in 2024, in November. So, kung nakita yan ni, siguro, matatalino itong mga to. Of course, they know. May nag-suggest, okay. Uh, can we do this here? So, kung nakita yan ni Marcos, uh, yung mga matatalino niya mga advisors, uh, we can actually use the ICC to, you know, stop Sarah from running in 2028. Kasi nga, malakas, I mean, aminan natin, malakas pa rin ang mga Duterte. Mayroon silang political currency. And they could use the ICC to stop them. Politically speaking, like what they did to, like, you know, kung anong nangyari kay Tevez, di ba, Arnie Tevez. So, yung ICC is their political insurance in the future. Siguro, papahabayan nila yan eh, papahabayan. Hindi pa yan this year, it could be the next coming years, na lalabas lahat, yung decision and all that. I don't know, we don't know yet, pero they're gonna use the ICC against the the third days. And as to whether which side I'm on, I'm on the side of the lesser evil, which is the Marcuses. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And have a good one to all of you.